Hi, this is a very good question from Jean, and uh, it's related to uh, sunlight, vitamin D, and UVA, uh, which is, which are mentioned in my book um, as you know very important factors in the maintenance of good uh, health. And uh, his question relates to whether lying down on one's stomach. Uh, in a room and allowing the sun to shine through, you know, through the open window, whether the closing of the eyes diminishes the positive effect of UV radiation in order to produce vitamin D. Uh, because I do mention in my book, uh, Heal Yourself with Sunlight, that wearing sunshades, sunglasses, will prevent the positive effects of UVB radiation and stimulating the secretion of vitamin D in our body. Vitamin D is essential to maintain a strong, good immune system and uh, pro your, pro your proper digestive functions and cardiovascular functions, amongst other uh, your positive benefits. So when a person is wearing sunshades, uh, there is a there is a hormone in the brain that regulates the secretion of melanin in the cells and that becomes suppressed when we wear sunshades because the body thinks that it is getting dark outside and will therefore diminish the production of these hormones um, that uh, basically shuts down the uh, melanin production and therefore the protection uh, against uh, ultraviolet radiation. Uh, that can then uh, cause burning um, you know, in deeper layers of the skin, which in turn can cause you know, damage to the skin. Not necessarily skin cancer, because that's an entirely different subject, uh, which is largely caused by carcinogens, such as sunscreen, uh, lotion, uh, or foods that are carcinogenic, uh, or have you know, you know, effects of toxicity uh, inside the skin, uh, which is more an internal process of contamination and uh, buildup of toxins rather than something external, such as exposure of the skin to the sun. Uh, now, the, going back to the original question, um, which I, I find is an excellent question, um, the reason uh, why we have uh, your problems with uh, your blocking the the uh, protective uh, your effects of melanin, uh, that particular substance that prevents uh, the skin from burning, uh, when we wear sun shades, uh, that effect is diminished, uh, or closing the eyes. Um, and sort of looking down, uh, like having the the eyes, you know, you're, you're facing a pillow, so that there is no natural light coming in. The body will um, begin, or uh, will produce less melanin uh, that protect the skin against burning. So I would uh, yeah, encourage you to uh, keep your eyes either open, or you know, the, the the eyelids themselves. Uh, even if they are closed, will still let the body know that there is sunshine. Um, but I wouldn't put anything on the eyes uh, or over the eyes um, so that the body notices it. it. It's actually sunlight, daylight, and it's not getting dark. Uh, the 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 question is so good because it it, it really shows the mechanism at uh, you know, you know, taking place here. Uh, that when we are wearing something over the eyes, that the body is more prone uh, to sunburn, and you can easily see that by, uh, let's say, you know, being in the sun and putting sunshades over the eyes or falling asleep. Uh, when you fall asleep, the irises turn upward uh, or yes, sideways uh, in some cases which doesn't allow the body to notice that it is actually uh, light outside. And in that case, you will find that you are burning much, much faster. Many people fall asleep while sunbathing, 
and they find themselves uh, when they wake up uh, their skin has actually be, been you know, burned uh, sometimes seriously and uh, this can uh, you know, cause many many problems uh, whereas if they were awake and they looked around uh, they saw natural sunlight uh, the eyes were you know, focused you know, basically you know, you know, towards the uh, world around them uh, instead of inward then uh, the, the, the problem with the sunburn would be greatly diminished and they wouldn't have the same um, you know, your burning effect um, and so that's why it's good to keep the eyes open or at least when you close them, uh, you don't put anything over the eyes in order to protect the skin against uh, severe sunburns. Uh, so th I hope that uh, you know, answers your question. And uh, you know, there's um, something to be said about not wearing sunshades or sun sunscreens, uh, or you know, putting sunscreens or, or um, lotions. Uh, on the skin except something like natural uh, coconut oil which is very protective of the skin. The other part of uh, the question related to uh, allowing uh, sunlight to travel to come through uh, windows which uh, in nowadays uh, have UV reflecting uh, effects that means UVB rays uh, that are stimulating the production of vitamin D in the body are reflected or, or filtered out or blocked out and uh, this can lead to an actual deficiency of vitamin D in the body so driving around uh, in a car all day and having the sun shining on your face or your arms can uh, you know, create a vitamin D deficiency um, that um, most people you know, are not aware of. Uh, the reason for that is because UVB is the principal UV part uh, you know, of the sun that is stimulating the production of vitamin D uh, while UVA rays are actually allowed to go through the glass and enter the body and when UVA enters the body without uh, the UVB at the same time then UVA penetrates much deeper than it normally would and UVB is responsible for actually removing uh, vitamin D from the body. It's that part that normally regulates the uh, balanced um, yeah, the, the balanced secretion or production of vitamin D in the body. If a person is in the sun for eight hours uh, it could lead to an overproduction of vitamin D uh, but this doesn't happen in the presence of UVA uh, coming into the skin as well which then de removes any excess uh, amounts of vitamin D so you would never ever uh, be overdosed um, however long you are in the sun. Uh, in that respect it's very important uh, to not be too close to a window when the sun is shining uh, let's say sitting inside the house and letting the the sunshine through the glass unless of course you have a glass that doesn't reflect UVB um, the UVB you know, part of the uh, sunlight so um, this is some very important information uh, also if you are you are getting a good um, you know, suntan, you know, natural suntan and uh, you are uh, yeah, therefore producing a lot, a lot of vitamin D it's important to not uh, right away shower um, you know, after sun exposure because the, the, the vitamin D is sitting on the surface of the skin and needs to be absorbed um, you know, otherwise uh, just washing it off right away uh, particularly using soaps uh, will get rid of the vitamin D that you have produced and you will also develop a vitamin D deficiency in spite of having been having exposed your skin to the sun uh, even if it has you know, been done for several hours you still will not be able to absorb enough of the vitamin D to make a difference. So sunlight uh, can definitely you know, create a lot of healing but it has to be done properly in a balanced fashion 
Um, when you feel um, burning of the skin, make sure you get out of the sun. It shouldn't uh, redden. Uh, slightly pink is fine. That's the time when you should uh, move in the shade. Um, you still get UV exposure, uh, not as strong, of course, uh, when you're directly in the sun, but uh, even just yeah, being in the shade and um, being in open daylight sunlight, uh, you will still uh, get vitamin uh, yeah, D production in the body. And so uh, sunlight is our best friend. It's not an enemy. Uh, the studies that have been done uh, on the sun exposure, and there are more and more coming out, showing that uh, regular sun exposure is far, far more important and uh, you're safe uh, than uh, even having the sun bur you know, burn the skin. You will not increase the risk of uh, skin cancer as, been, as has been, uh, you know, has the, the population has been told for uh, now several decades. Uh, there is still no scientific evidence that sunlight can cause skin cancer. If you want to know more about this, uh, please refer to my book, uh, Heal Yourself with Sunlight, which contains all the details and the scientific data that shows that uh, sunlight cannot cause skin cancer. Skin cancer typically occurs uh, in areas of the body that are hardly ever exposed to the sun, like under the arms or um, in the th under the thigh, in, in hidden areas and uh, not in the typically ex you know, exposed areas of the skin. So there's a lot of misinformation uh, going around. Uh, there are other things that cause skin cancers, but the sun isn't uh, one of them. Thank you for listening, and uh, I hope you're having a beautiful sun-filled uh, day today.